I love working with students who are on the autism spectrum because every kid is unique and every kid is really different and so it makes it exciting and interesting to come to work to get to know each kid. It challenges me but at the same time it is incredibly fulfilling. Growing up uh, the public library was a really important part of my life. It was a really social place for me and it helped me explore a lot about myself and it was always a place that I really wanted to be a part of. As a kid I used to ask if I could volunteer there and it's not helpful to have an elementary school kid helping you but they did let me once I was in middle school. Ever since I was in the first grade I knew that I wanted to be a teacher. When I am in my classes I think I owe everything that I am to the Compton Unified School District, the place where I come from, right, my city, my schools, and I believe that my education is an empowering tool that I can utilize in order to go back and create real change and to help students that were like myself and who need even more help than I did when I was young. When you hear things in the media, when you read stories about it, you know, it's all about violence, gangs, this, that, but what I see is uh, just a community that needs, you know, a sense of hope. I'm not helping if, I'm, if I don't go back. The librarian who ran the teen volunteer group was, when she first started running the group, she was a student here in this program. And she really inspired me because I could really see that she was having a really dynamic interaction with the community and with the library. And I hadn't seen the library that way before. And she made me want to, I wanted to be like her. After having already accumulated all this debt in order to finish my undergraduate degree, this put a lot of stress on my mind and I even you know, contemplated dropping out because I just thought, wow, so much money is being invested in this and what if it doesn't even pay out in the end? That was really what I was afraid of was that there wasn't support out there even though I know people love libraries. That's different from funding. Because I had to put myself through school, I needed to get a job, uh, my advisor was able to hire me to work 20 hours a week, which was a blessing, but it was also really difficult to kind of manage working 20 hours and also being a full-time student. Before having earned the scholarship, you know, I thought, oh, you know, I'll, I'll do it. And it was a bit more, you know, begrudgingly, but now knowing that someone out there, you know, believes in me and believes in the work that I want to do and believes in the work that UCLA Center X is doing, then you know that makes all the difference. It makes me feel like, oh yeah, someone out there actually cares about the students, the ones that I'll be teaching, and myself as a student, you know? So it just really pushes me to achieve my dreams and my goals in order to affect my community. And not only that, but to help UCLA at large as well. Having this fellowship has really helped me pursue my passion, and I really appreciate your help and support in this. Thank you. Receiving this fellowship has allowed me to pursue my passion and give back to my community, and for that, I thank you. It feels great to be validated, not only by my advisor, who recommended me for this fellowship, but also by the donors. Um, it's encouraging to see that the work that I'm doing and the work that we're all doing here is not going unnoticed, and for that, thank you.